I love your speaking <laughs> voice. Thank it's you. So, I think I say that a lot of the women here. Like okay. the speaking Raspy. voice is like it, it has a like rasp and the a depth constant to, to it. save my life. Really? Mm -hmm. Did you know that was my next question? I knew because everyone thinks I can. <laughs> but I can't sing to save my life. Like my whole life. It's, okay. you, it's usually the question I ask really? after I'm like, oh my it's God, it's so It's usually the nice question I get. <laughs> like usually it's like, oh, can you sing? Yes. No, I can't. Okay. I can't. Are we rolling? Yes. Are we rolling? Oh, love it. <laughs> Another big interview on 947 Breakfast with Tundo. I'm super excited to speak to you. Mm -hmm. Firstly, yes. you were such a pivotal part of the woman that I am today. Oh, like, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you I'm going to so give much. you a long story. So okay. there's something called a stock fell here in South Africa. Okay. It's like... So basically, it's like an informal financial group. Mm -hmm. They contribute money, women usually contribute mm -hmm. money monthly. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on a specific month, you get all the money. Oh, wow. So my mother was a part of this thing, but except they'd swap CDs. Okay. So on this month, she asked, what do you want? And mm -hmm. I got writings on the wall. Hey! Hello. <laughs> so hey, ladies, bulls, 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 yes. say my name. I got like what, um, if you leave her, yes. I'll leave him. Yes. We'll pack our bags. Don't, Don't say, say a word. word. Let's, Let's go far away, away to another Oh my gosh. I yes. remember singing all that in like a, like a stationary vehicle because mm -hmm. I was too small to actually be driving. Uh -huh. But you, so you pretend drive. drive. Did you know when you were creating that music that you were instrumental in the feminist movement? You know what? I don't think we even thought about it like that, to be honest. We were just literally b being the best versions and most authentic versions of mm -hmm. ourselves possible. And even when I think back on that whole process of making that project, it was so fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think about it as, as that being fun. We would come in every day and have conversations with the writers and producers, and literally the songs would just come from everybody yeah you know what I mean it was like oh we should start it off with this because that's the way the conversation starts when you are um, uh, 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 any other day I would call you would say yes. and I heard somebody yes. say that in a sentence the other day I said oh, that's the first line of saying yes. you know what I mean because yeah. it's because lyrics have to be conversational but like women that. weren't having conversations like that no or not openly we were in anyway, the studio. Right? <laughs> like, not openly so you wouldn't get in the yes. studio but yes. nobody was actually doing it yes. in public no no not at all but and, and for us to be as as young as we were mm. and have those things to say and have these feelings and these expressions and be able to put it with melody and lyric was really like I think that was us also finding our power in it yeah. too and and it was honest and literally on the other side of the world yeah. there was a little girl called me that was <laughs> listening to that music uh -huh. and like to this day if I meet a guy I'm like can you pay my bills Oh like, God! Like, can you actually pay my bills? Oh, I God. watched a, an interview recently mm -hmm. uh, where you revealed that you reunited with your father. Yes. Um, and how, at first you didn't want to. Yes. And then you had a baby. Yes. Do you think there's a superpower that comes with being a mom? I think that there is a superpower to being a mom, but I also feel like um, it was. I was also nervous. Mm. You know what I mean? There's so many feelings that come with being a mom and with being a parent. And for me, it was, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And then as soon as you see this person, you're like, I'm gonna figure it all out. <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? You, you figure it out for them. You figure it out, of course, for yourself. And you mm. figure it out for the, the things that you want to change in your generation. And it just becomes so much bigger than you. But you enjoy the journey every step of the way. Good, what do you bad. think your son's going to think when he watches like all the DC videos back? He started to. And? He started to. And, he's, and he didn't know that me and the that girls sang together until he, did, he came to the Coachella performance. Oh, hey, hey. After the Coachella performance, in what was that 2015 <laughs> I can't remember what year that was um but when we did that performance he heard say my name and I would hear say my name in the morning say my name if he's oh, what, he's singing trucks. it now yes oh he's so it. then it was like mommy can I said I said I said do you want to see the video he says yeah he saw the video it went from that to jump and jump Wow. And I just heard jumping, 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 jumping. Jumpin'. Like I was like on the way to school is jump. Mommy, yes, can you jumpin', play jumping, jumping? Jumpin'. Jumpin'. Exactly. So then you got to remember, it's just Auntie Mimi and Auntie Bibi. Yes. You, he doesn't know anything yes, else. Yes, that's insane. Yes. So the rest of the world is Beyonce and Michelle. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie who? <laughs> exactly. That's all he knows. Hey, so it. when he saw us on stage together, that was his first time. Wow. And so it was like he had questions. He was shocked. Like mm. his mouth was open when we came off stage. 
manager was like, mommy, you did so good. But it was like, oh, snap. Is that what you do? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> but he also came with me to rehearsals. Okay. I didn't want him to think that like, you know, you someone gets on stage and you know exactly what you're yes. doing. Because I wanted him to see the process of that and actually understand that because that performance was great. And that greatness took process. Yeah. And sure. Of course, every performance is great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you decided to be a part of this campaign. You uh -huh. belong. Why? Oh, my gosh. One, because I was so excited of the narrative. Yeah. The narrative just attracted me so much. The fact, of course, that I could come back over to the essay. Yeah. And I could be able to have this moment with my sisters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we could talk the way we have on set. I mean, this... The shooting this campaign tell us about it has been extraordinary um yesterday on set there was a moment where there were tears shed because it was it was a bond it was a connection that happened and here's the thing you don't know what's going to happen when as people send the people say oh you're gonna go back to the motherland you're so lucky and so you don't know what's gonna happen da -da -da -da. <laughs> but when oh, I can't wait till you see I can't moment. wait to see. But the ladies are there, and there's one setup that we have, and um, they start singing. And but but the way they're singing is so. It it went through. Wow. It went through me. Yeah. And it was like this mag, this force that happened between them, mm -hmm. and then they shared it with me. And the way she sang it to me. Who is she? You have to see them. <sighs> These women are extraordinary, all of them, every, in every yeah. single shot, every single shot. But the way she's singing, her voice was raspy and beautiful mm -hmm. and husky, but it had so much, it was, it was just bigger than even mm -hmm. she was. And it tied us all together. And I'm on camera and I'm trying to keep my face yeah. straight. And these tears just start streaming down my face because I felt so connected. But isn't that what music's always done for you? It is, but you don't know what's gonna happen when you go anywhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I've had moments like all over the world, all over the world, but it was significant when I really came home. Mm. Is there a moment you've ever felt like you don't belong? Um. Yes. Um, but it was not about anybody else as much as it was about me. Okay. Um, I don't think it was about anybody else making me feel like I didn't belong. Um, I actually would talk myself out of saying that I don't belong. Does that make any sense? Say again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> say again. <laughs> um, it, it's like, um, like an opportunity could come my way. Yeah. And instead of like walking into it as I own it, I would be scared of it. You'd feel like you almost don't deserve it. Um, or I could talk myself out of it. Okay. And I think that sometimes as women, I know at least for me just being transparent and honestly speaking, I've talked myself out of things. Mm. I've said, oh, I wasn't ready and I was ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And sometimes you have to be kind of thrust in the position yeah. and you're like, oh, snap, I'm smarter than I thought. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I think that um, when I didn't belong, I actually told myself I didn't belong. Mm. And I actually did all along. Yeah. So I think that we have to know, know what we bring to the table. Because mm. when you know what you bring to the mm. table, you act like it. I think that's crazy, right? Because yes. we've watched you and we watch you and yes. you look like you've got it all together. No. All of the time. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I'm, figuring it out. Yeah. I'm figuring it out as I go. And I think that's what people need to know, yes. right? That yes. we're all just, we're all making it, we're all faking it till we make it. Absolutely, because everybody's um, everybody's journey is different from mm. you being a child to you being a, 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 a young person to you being a teen to mm. you being a young adult. Like every phase of your life, you're literally like, wait a second. And your dynamic is different the way you grow up, yeah. everybody. Yeah. So it's like respecting that, you know, and being able to like figure it, figure it, it out, out as you go because you don't know what your, uh, your, your strengths are. You're learning what those are. You don't know what your insecurities could be telling you in that time. It's just really like, rising to the occasion yeah. every time you have to and when you do you gotta pat yourself on the back when you do you when you figure so it dope. out you gotta do you gotta do that how how do you Thank remain you. so cool and such a superstar uh well um no on the real <laughs> <laughs> like i've sat with a few superstars yeah. and you i mean you are my favorite superstar Thank but you. you're also just down to earth and um it's almost as though you come from a place of just absolute purpose mm-hmm is are you you're obviously aware of that? Yeah, I mean, 
I always feel like wherever I go, it's bigger than me. Yeah. And I have this like this t tattoo on my foot, and my best friend actually, she and I got it together, and it says God's gift. And she says, you know, sometimes I feel like you forget who you are. Mm. And when you remember, she was like, you are forced to be reckoned yeah. with. So um, when it's when I got it, she said, everywhere you step, every room you go mm. into, every plane you step mm. on is blessed. Everybody you come mm. in contact with, she was like, it'll be reciprocated. Like whatever their greatness is and your greatness is, yes. it'll be like, it'll be, you know what I mean? Yes. Like it's running through you both. Yes. And I was just like, oh, I love this. I, I take it all. Yeah. I take it all. So I have, to, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if I forget and I'm putting my shoes on, I'm you reminded. reminded. Oh, I thank you for sharing that. And I thank God for you. No, I thank God for you. <laughs> <laughs> 947 Breakfast with Tundo.